by Alec Larson September 1, 2019 Hurricane Dorian had sustained wind speeds of nearly 185 miles per hour as it made landfall on the Abaco Islands. Hurricane Dorian has reached the Bahamas Abaco Islands. It was a Category 5 storm when it made landfall, reaching sustained wind speeds of nearly 185 miles per hour. The National Hurricane Center warned the islands could see life-threatening storm surge and heavy rainfall. It also said water levels may rise by as much as 18 to 23 feet above normal tide levels on Grand Bahama and the Abaco Islands. The Saphir Simpson hurricane wind scale assigns different categories to storms based on their sustained wind speeds, with higher category storms expected to cause more severe damage. A Category 5 storm is the highest designation on the scale, reached when the wind speeds are clocked at 157 miles per hour or higher. The National Hurricane Center estimates that in a Category 5 storm, a high percentage of framed homes will be destroyed, with total roof failure and wall collapse. Fallen trees and power poles will isolate residential areas. Power outages will last for weeks to possibly months. Most of the area will be uninhabitable for weeks or months. I ask everyone in Hurricane Dorian's path to heed all warnings and evacuation orders from local authorities. It looks like they're going to have to be doing that, unfortunately. We should watch. It has been moving very slowly. It is a bad thing, not a good thing. The slower it moves, the bigger it is and the bigger it gets, said President Donald Trump. According to the National Weather Service, there is a still much uncertainty regarding the specific track and impacts on Florida, Georgia and the Carolinas. Additional reporting from newsy affiliate CNN, Let's Block Ads. Why?